Well, hello everybody and welcome. I am Davy, and today I am taking you thrifting with me and showing you a pretty massive haul that I got. So this is part of a video thrift hop collab. Nicole North Garden Thrifter is the host of this challenge and collab. And when you're done with my video, go to the description box and check out the next person who is going to be taking you on their thrifting experiences and possibly showing you a haul at the end as well. But I hit up a charity rummage sale and so everything was 50 cents or fill a bag for $4. The total of what I spent was $10, so um, I'll put the time of my haul here for you, so if you want to skip the thrift part with me, that's fine, but I know it's always fun to see what other people get to see.
Alright, so I'm going to share my decor pieces that I found first and you saw, if you watched the thrift with me part, you saw me pick up a few of these items. So the first piece is this beautiful white um, coffee pitcher and I wasn't sure if it was false graph or not, but I don't think it is because it has no markings on the bottom. So I'm not sure if I'll resell it or not, but I just loved the straight lines to it and the detail of it. and I. I definitely couldn't pass this up because it was 50 cents. All right, then I got these two baskets. I am not a huge fan of the lined ones because, as you can see, it is very dirty on the inside. But I will probably take the cloth off. I was needing a different fruit basket for my bananas or um, also a basket in my daughter's room. All right, then I found this blanket throw. It has a little tasseling on the bottom. The blue, I decorate with blues in my home. I just thought that was really pretty. It would be beautiful draped across the back of my couch for my fall decor or transition into honestly any style on my bed, anything like that. So couldn't pass that up. And then I got this pillow because I needed something brown on my bed to pull in some of the fall decor and I needed something a little bit smaller. So I think this will cut it and this might possibly work. It's pretty little. I'll wash it of course before I use it. I just picked up a couple eucalyptus stems to throw in my bag because they're basically free then to do a potential DIY. Then I found these four gold napkin rings and I've never bought napkin rings before. One is a little rusty, but I think I might be able to get them clean. I thought that would be fun to do for a Christmas tablescape potentially. If not, I can sell them, use them for something else. Um, not a big deal to pick up four of those. Then I found some fall linens. I thought this was fun to um, put on. I don't use orange in my home, but to use in a basket for bread or something like that, to um, gift it with some applesauce bread or pumpkin bread that I've been making. Then I love this neutral brown striped one just to have hanging um, and use because some of my towels are getting pretty worn. Then this two tea towels. Again, like I said, some are getting worn. I could use it in a basket for when I gift things because I've been loving to make baked goods lately and gift them. So two of these towels. Then this beautiful book. You saw me look at this. I thought that'd be really pretty to decorate with. Um, and just to have like a coffee table for the Christmas season. I picked up two of these, dropped a few out because I wanna add some more of the, I think the silver color to my small Christmas tree that I decorate. I decorate about two or three trees in our home. So I thought this was something I should get. Um, and maybe I'd use the copper color, but I'm not really sure. I wanna change up my Christmas decor a little bit this year as I've done the same thing for the past four or five years. Okay, I think that is it for the decor. I'm gonna quickly show you some clothing pieces I got. In the Christmas spirit, <laughs> my daughter, my little four month old is making a bunch of noise in the background. <laughs> I thought this would be really cute for my little toddler. He does a field gear kids. Isn't that just so fun for the Christmas winter season? Then I just got her a pair of black leggings. She's growing so much, she just needs some extra clothes. This brand is Jumping Bean, a, just a long black shirt with a little pocket. I know these might be boys, but I thought they were super cute for a little girl. They're Old Navy brand. Plain white t-shirt. And then I knew she would love this long sleeve heart t-shirt as well. And for my four month old, I only got her one thing because she doesn't need a whole lot right now and they grow so fast. I just couldn't pass this cute little um, long sleeve up and it's Just For You by Carter Brand. Then I only got my husband one shirt. 
He's always in need of some new of these because he still has some of his from high school, which was over 10 years ago. So this is just the George brand. Okay, I did buy myself a few shirts um, or pick them up to throw in a bag. This one was just so fun, like a graphic tee with a cardigan. Um, it says, I am a child of God, John 1, 12. I definitely wanted to get that. I like V-necks as well. So it'd be cute, tucked into my high-waisted mom jeans or something like that with a cardigan. Um, I did a fall capsule wardrobe. I'll put that video in the description box if you're interested. This is Eddie Bauer. I really like the top, how it's got a little detailing there. It's got um, some cut on the side, just slightly, but I have one like this that was pilling so bad I didn't even want to wear it. And then it's got the line down the back. So I will be wearing this um, this winter and fall as well. And the last piece for myself, um, it is the Alex brand. I just thought that would work, again, well with a cardigan. It has just like a little crisscross on the back. And it's a little more flowy um, sleeve as well. But that is my haul. That was my thrift with me. Thank you, Nicole, for hosting this and allowing me to participate as well. I hope you enjoy coming along and seeing what I got to see, hearing my little girl's noises in the background if you can. And um, I hope you get to enjoy watching the next person in this thrift top and the consecutive people to follow. Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. I do videos such as these, homemaking, motherhood, and um, simple living. So we will talk with you in the next one. Bye.